Hi, in this lesson, we will be covering proportions. So let's begin. So proportions are two equal ratios or fractions. And so let's say that you have one half is equal to four eighths. Well, we will say that this is a proportion or you can say they're in proportion or even proportional. Unequal ratios, on the other hand, are said to be not proportional or not in proportion. So let's take the example one half is not equal to two over six. So to test whether two given ratios are proportional or not, that is, they are equal to each other, we use what's known as property of proportionists. Now, property of proportion simply states that the cross products are equal. And when I say cross products, I mean cross multiplication. And so let's, um, the property of proportions actually says if, if A over B equals C over D, well, that means A times D equals B times C. And take a look at the denominators of B and D. So you'll also hear it stated as B and D are not set equal to zero or not set to zero. Okay, and the reason why is because any number divided by zero is undefined. So let's take a look at um, another example here. Let's say we have one half equals four eighths. So this is a, por a proportion simply because when we cross multiply or use cross products, they are in proportion. So that means that one times eight is equal to two times four. Okay, because they're both eight. eight is equal to eight. Okay, so now what happens if one of the four terms in a given proportion is a variable? Then in that case, what you do is cross multiply and form an equation. Or you can use equivalent fractions that share a common denominator. So let's go over an example using cross multiplication. So let's use one half is equal to x over eight. Okay, so, so what we're going to do here is use cross multiplication as I've stated. So we're going to use the proportions, the property of proportions here. So we're going to multiply one times eight two times x. So usually we'll write two times x first, right? So that x is on the left side of the equal sign. So we have two times x equals one times eight, which is eight. So now in order to solve for x, you have to isolate it. So we have to divide by two since we're multiplying by two. The twos cancel. So solving for x, x is equal to four because eight divided by two equals four. Therefore, one half is equal to four over eight. Okay, let's use another example. And this time we're going to use equivalent fractions that share a common denominator. So let's say you have one half equals x over eight. Use a different color so it stands out. So x over eight. So the first thing to do is since you need to have common denominators, uh, that means for two and eight, that means the common denominator for both these numbers would be four. 
because when you multiply two times four, that gives you eight right here. And remember, whatever you do in the denominator, you must also do in the numerator. So let's go ahead and rewrite this to where we have one half times four over four. And so we're multiplying by some form of one, but we're manipulating it to where we got the correct answer. So let's go ahead and multiply. So that means this X is four. So we'll just box it like that. Okay, so one times four is four, two times four is eight. So therefore we have one half is equal to four eighths. So they are equivalent. So, and we said that X is equal to four. So let's go ahead and rewrite it. So you have one half is equal to four over eight. Let's go over some more examples. Let's say that you have three eighths and nine over 24. And let's say that you have to use cross multiplication to test whether or not 3 eighths and 9 24 are proportional. So let's go ahead and rewrite this. So we have 3 eighths equals 9 over 24. So we'll use cross multiplication again. 3 times 24 and 8 times 9. And we can see that 24 times 3 is equal to 72 and eight times nine equals 72. Therefore, three eighths and nine twenty-fourths are proportional. What about four ninths and two thirds? So we're going to determine whether these two ratios are proportional or not by using cross multiplication. So let's rewrite them. So we have four ninths equals two thirds. So we can go ahead and cross multiply. We have four times three, nine times two. Four times three is equal to 12. Nine times two is equal to 18. 12 does not equal 18. Therefore, four ninths and two thirds are not in proportion or they are not proportional. So let's go ahead and solve for X. So let's set up a proportion. Let's say that you have a variable, we'll use X over 12 is equal to one over six. So here we're going to simply cross multiply, right? So we have X times six and 12 times one. So that's six X is equal to 12 times one, which is 12. Isolate the X by dividing by six on both sides. The sixes cancel out. We're left with X is equal to 12 divided by six, which is two. So therefore we have, let's see, two over 12. equals one six or one over six. So that means solve it for X, X is equal to two. Well, yep, and that's what we have right here, okay? So let's go over another one. Let's say that you have four fifths is equal to eight over X. Again, you're going to cross multiply in order to solve for the variable. So we have four X equals five times eight, which is 40. So we need to solve for X by isolating it. We're going to divide by four. The fours cancel. X is equal to 40 divided by four is 10. So that means X is equal to 10. So let's go ahead and rewrite this to where we have four fifths 
equals 8 over 10. And you can see that they are proportional because 4 times 10 is 40, 5 times 8 is 40. So let's go over one last example. Let's say that you know that it costs $3 for 2 pounds of smoked turkey. So we'll say for 2 pounds of turkey. Okay, and so you need to find out how much it costs for three pounds of smoked turkey. So how much does it cost? So we don't know what the cost is. So we can represent it by a variable. So we'll use X. So X dollars for three pounds, because we already said that we need to find out how much it costs for three pounds of turkey. So we can use a proportion to solve, and we can solve by using cross multiplication. So notice here we have a given ratio. So we have $3 to two pounds. That's how you can look at this, $3 to two pounds. So that means you're going to stack un unlike measures or unlike units on top of each other. So that means you're going to place $3 in the numerator and two pounds in the denominator. So we have unlike units, given ratio unlike units equals, and then we're going to have units right next to each other, or yeah, we're gonna have the dollar amount right next to each other. So that means we said that the dollar amount is X because we do not, do not know its value yet. And then we have three pounds of turkey. So now we can go ahead and cross multiply. So that means that two times X is two X equals three times three is nine. So we have to isolate X by divided by two. The twos cancel. So X equals nine halves, but we need to know the dollar amount so what we're going to do here is divide. So nine divided by two. Two goes into nine without going over four times. Four times two is eight. Subtract eight from nine, that gives you one. So we're going to place a decimal here, a decimal here. And we need a zero here because two doesn't go into one bring your zero down and now we can de determine how many times does two go into 10 and that's five times. And remember, since we are talking about dollar amounts, you never see just one digit after the decimal point, right? So there's always two digits after the decimal point where you're when you're talking about money here. So that means X is representative of $4.50. So that means it costs $4.50 for three pounds of turkey. So that's all we have for this lesson. I hope it was helpful to you. And I look forward to working with you in the next lesson. Take care.